Ram Das, an individual who has lifted his attention away from his body, is called Videha Mukti. Ordinarily, the pundits explain Videha Mukti is Mukti liberation when you have died. The body has fallen away. Videha, without body, the pure consciousness. <laughs> According to Shankara, it is not Videha Mukti, but Jeevan Mukti. Even while you are living in this physical body, even while living in this physical body, <coughs> Mukti liberation. So, assuming that idea, which is his concept, Videha Mukti, though there are very many who are believing that it is not Jevan Mukti, but it is only Videha Mukti. Because according to them, so long as the body is existing, it needs, need, means that there is Vasana Baki. There is still Vasanas to exhaust. And so long as Vasanas are there, desires will be there, thoughts will be there, actions will be there. He is also an ordinary man. He may get in those moments of concern, I mean, uh, Meditation, a experience of the higher, but he cannot merge there so long as the body exists. A Mahapurusha, when he has lost, left his body, then only moksha, total experience of the divine will come. This is called the Videha Mukti. Shankara believed and propagated the idea that when the body is there, even while living, Jeevan Mukti, liberation of the higher realization comes even in the body. Now, whether Jeevan Mukti is right or Videha Mukti is right, I can't tell you and you need not believe when I say anything because you can always argue the other side. It is to be confirmed in your own personal experience. Nobody can. Yet, Shankara approached these Acharyas, old, great men of knowledge and wisdom, and these pundits were very happy that this fellow who is a, a, a renegade, meaning who is you know, approaching Vedanta to everybody and representing it, uh, the Chokra has come back to us. Ultimately, everybody has to come and prostrate to us. We alone know that. That is his idea. He went there, elaborately prostrate. And very humble. Because when you want to destroy another man, you must approach him very peacefully. <laughs> Humility manifested and said, Maharaj, I have got a doubt. They all looked at each other, saying, ah, when he has got, he is going about in the world as the greatest Bhagavan, Bhagavan. And now doubt, Bhagavan is doubt, they have to come to us. Ah. Hey, Chokre, what is your doubt? <laughs> and they have taken them. So he said, sir, you, Shastra believes in, Videha Mukti. And some portion of the Upanishads have also said Jeevan Mukti. Now, I am confused. So, Abhulam, you are the only one who can give us the last word about it. Is it Videha Mukti or Jeevan Mukti? Hey, Sh I mean, uh, Shankara, one corner the Rishi said, Jeevan Mukti doesn't mean anything. He only meant that you will not no more after realizing a higher state, you will no more stumble down to the temptations and the excitements of the Jeeva and Jeevan Mukti. That is all. But Videha Mukti alone is possible. So long as you are living in the physical body, the knowledge that you gain or the experience of the higher can never be complete. You can see, just as the moon we can see through the clouds or mist, but it will not be 
clear. Eye to eye, you cannot see the moon in the misty day. <coughs> in the same way that pure experience cannot come until the body is... Sir, I accept your wisdom, but that creates another doubt in my mind. Yes, what is the doubt? The great rishis who have given us the Upanishads, were they people who had full experience or only misty experience? <laughs> Mahapapi never even doubt the words of the rishis. They are all men of wisdom. <coughs> Maharaj, one more doubt. Uh, these rishis, when they got the full knowledge, they collapsed <laughs> with Eha Mukti. Thereafter, the Upanishad was dictated from the other side of the burial ground, is it? <laughs> Sadeha or Videha? They declared the Upanishads. Oh. Uh. Oh. Uh. Sadeha, Videha. So they, as before, looked at each other <laughs> and they have no answer to give. Abhi chalo, abhi hum log dhyan mein baitne ka time a gaya, bas. What else can you say? Thus the logical argument of Shankara seems to attract me more than the argument of Videha Mukti. Jeevan Mukti is available or can be. And Shankara has given all the arguments. Why do you say Videha Mukti with the body? He has detached himself. He has declutched from the body. That the body still is moving. Pralabdhavashal. 